This demonstrates diplomacy's back. We've got uh, the G7 countries here. We've got our Indo-Pacific partners uh, arriving for the session tomorrow. And I think it shows you the importance throughout all the global challenges that we're facing, all the international challenges we're facing, of getting countries together. That's what Global Britain's all about. Uh, and that's how I think uh, uh, we don't just grasp the opportunities that lie ahead, but really uh, grapple and deal with all the problems we're facing at the moment. Oh, look, we believe in keeping uh, trade open. We believe in standing up for open societies, from human rights to democracy. Uh, we believe in safeguarding, promoting public goods, uh, whether it's the environment and tackling climate change, particularly with COP26 coming up in November, uh, but also dealing with pandemics and public health more generally. Uh, the COVAX mechanism, I think, is particularly important at this very sensitive time uh, for the developing countries, the poorer countries and the most vulnerable countries around the world. We've been providing uh, air concentrators, uh, ventilators, things like that. Obviously, there's a good opportunity because India is here uh, to engage on all of those aspects. I think the important thing uh, when you're going through the, uh, the eye of the storm is to really listen to what they need. Um, so obviously being able to meet and discuss that uh, is a great opportunity. There's a much broader point uh, and again a really valuable uh, part of the G7 format is to think in the round what do we do to help the most vulnerable countries around the world. I think COVAX and the ability to fund it get vaccines to the most vulnerable countries, what we do about uh, uh, surplus uh, domestic supply, all of those issues, uh, again, a really good opportunity with the G7 together with our Indo-Pacific partners to talk all of that through and come up with positive answers.